I know Patrick Peterson did not want to get involved in Adrian Peterson, no relation, but I had to have him on and at least, at, uh, you know, treetop it with uh, the players looking at the commissioner as judge and jury, and you're getting those comments again with what's happening with Adrian Peterson. This guy gets paid to talk about these topics. He's DeMore Smith, the uh, NFL Players Association president. He joins us now. When did you get an idea that the commissioner was going to suspend Adrian Peterson the rest of the regular season? Uh, well, I got the letter this morning, and that was the first time that uh, we had been notified uh, about uh, what the league office wanted to do with respect to commissioner discipline. Uh, reaction when you got it? Surprised? Well, um, you know, surprised that, uh, uh, again, surprised at the lack of a consistent process was probably the first reaction uh, that I had. The second reaction closely followed by that was, um, you know, where, where I live is figuring out the best legal strategy to protect um, our players. And uh, that, that's, that's sort of the two-step process that I engage in. A uh, comment was made out of uh, the NFL Players Association office. The commissioner seems to be making this up on uh, the fly as he goes. Do you agree? Well, it was my statement, so yes. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, Dan, this is a situation where um, over the last few months, you, you just get the feeling that, um, and unfortunately a feeling supported by the evidence, that, that the league is making it up as they go along. When you give Ray Rice a two-game suspension, there's a public outcry. You announce a new six-game domestic violence policy that's not collectively bargained. The first person disciplined under the new policy is not given six games, but given um, an indefinite suspension. There's questions about whether the, the league saw the video, didn't see the video, who they asked uh, about the video. And then when it comes to Adrian Peterson, uh, they create out of whole cloth a new policy and procedure that, again, isn't collectively bargained, is inconsistent with the uh, CBA. And finally, um, and, and most uh, uh, pointedly, they refused to honor their agreement that they reached with Mr. Peterson and that issue is before a neutral arbitrator right now. So all of those things aren't, um, aren't, aren't opinions. All of those things are facts. And I don't think that any individual can look at all of those facts and not reach a conclusion that they are inconsistent and arbitrary. But why, what was Adrian Peterson suspended with pay for? Well, the, the, the league and the NFLPA, as well as Mr. Peterson and the Vikings, reached an agreement that he would be on leave with pay uh, pending the conclusion of uh, his uh, criminal matter. Once that criminal matter was resolved, he would be taken off of the exempt list. That is an agreement that is memorialized in a letter between uh, the league and the NFL. Uh, LPA. Um, the league just simply chose not to honor that agreement, and we argued that matter before a neutral arbitrator yesterday. Time served? Is that, um, you know, they, did you feel like Adrian Peterson was going to be credited with time served here with, with sitting down for, uh, what, 10 weeks? Um, I think that there are facts that that could be established later on re with respect to the issue of time served and conversations that uh, Adrian Peterson may have had with people uh, at the league office. But uh, our job isn't to guess about what was going to happen with commissioner discipline. We uh, are, are firm believers that our players are entitled to due process. And when that process is violated, um, it doesn't really matter what I think he should have gotten or what Mr. Peterson thinks he should have gotten or what our fans think is right or, or is wrong. Those are all issues of opinion. When it comes to uh, the, the, the relationship between the players and the league office, I don't think that it's too much to ask that that process be fair and transparent. Well, the only reason why I bring up time served is Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk was just on, and he said 
that you your side heard from somebody on the commissioner's side who said that this would be uh, part of time served. So he didn't. Now there's not a name attached to it, but you guys, I'm going to guess, know who this is. If that's the case, is that true? We do know who it is, and and again, Dan, that that's an issue that um, I'm sure is going to be litigated. Hmm. But the core issue here is um, the the players deserve an expectation of a process that's fair. Our sponsors deserve to know that the league office um, isn't acting arbitrarily um, or or inconsistent. And I'm not sure, uh, well, actually, I am sure, if you got an honest answer from people in the league office, uh, the last few months certainly haven't uh, ha- has not been their best. Is this intertwined with Ray Rice and the degree of punishment somehow, DeMars? I, I, I don't know. I believe that it's only intertwined with the failure to abide by due process. And when you react instead of acting in a consistent manner, you ultimately end up with taking positions that are inconsistent with each other. And I think that every fan of your show uh, can harken back to the commissioner's press conference and come to a conclusion um, that the league has been far more uh, reactive and uh, trying to uh, make it up as they go along rather than setting forth a consistent policy, and choosing to follow it. Are you appealing? Is your appeal process going to be to the commissioner? Um, we're going to reserve our rights right now to, to, to evaluate our next steps, and uh, I can promise you that um, we will be stepping um, uh, forward and aggressively uh, defending our player. Are you angry at the commissioner? I don't get angry um, disappointed? in this job. Well, I, I look, I, 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 I don't get angry and I don't get disappointed. What I do believe our players are entitled to um, is a system that's fair. I honestly believe that our players um, should respect um, the, the National Football League and, and, and respect uh, what it stands for. When our players see a system – that is unfair and arbitrary. When our players see owners um, treated differently than players, that's a problem. When our players see a a commissioner uh, acting in a way that is inconsistent and and, uh, not only with the CBA, but inconsistent with himself, um, that, that leads to uh, a world where where our players um, um, don't have respect office and and on a day where we are a few hours removed from the DEA uh, conducting a raid on um, on on medical doctors when we know that the, the league has uh, looked to the other way when it when it comes to the issue of owner uh, misconduct, when they've engaged in inconsistent patterns of behavior, all of those things are things that um, um, don't inspire confidence and don't inspire uh, trust. I know you got a busy day. We appreciate you joining us. Dan, thank you very much. All right. Demora Smith, head of the NFL Players Association.